A prominent LGBTQ plus center in China is closing down after 15 years. Another sign of the tightening of space for um, sexual orientation focused uh, organizations under President uh, Xi Jinping in a statement on its WeChat account on Monday. A Beijing LGBT center said it was terminating its operations effective immediately, saying only that the closing was due to a force majeure. The center couldn't be immediately reached uh, for comment Tuesday morning, but one former volunteer for the organization told Bloomberg News that the closure uh, was as a result of long-standing uh, pressure. That person didn't uh, specify the exact um, source of the pressure. Uh, saying it came from different quarters, including at times uh, from the center's neighbors. Uh, uh, the organization's 2022 report laid out some of the challenges more explicitly saying uh, we experienced uh, negative things such as forced relocation, canceled or postponed work for various reasons, vilification of our team and members. These events have brought us to a collective emotional low and it would be disingenuous to say that we are still passionate about our work in this situation. A post announcing they were shutting down attracted more than 6,083 likes and 3,200 reposts on Weibo as of Tuesday morning. Many of the comments expressed sadness the organization Christ was shutting down and how queer culture and presence in Chinese society were being erased. And China's LGBTQ community has been coming under increased political scrutiny as she promotes more conservative and conformist values around gender and sexual identity. Shanghai's Pride organizers announced in 2020 that they would cease all activities without giving a reason. Dozens of WeChat accounts run by LGBTQ groups at leading universities were blocked then deleted in 2021, prompting outrage. Some had tens of thousands of followers how LGBTQ life in China has gotten tougher. I wish I could take. Literally last summer, two students at one of China's most prestigious universities were issued warnings for distributing LGBTQ rainbow flags, highlighting how the nation's increasing intolerance for sexual diversity is extending further into campus life. State media in recent years has published criticism of gender nonconforming men. Uh, the loss of the center is huge, said uh, Darius Londorino, uh, senior fellow at Yale Law School's Paul Tsai China Center uh, and an expert on LGBTQ issues in China. Um, it was a major force for creating community in physical space and online and for uh, raising visibility throughout society. Longarina said that while it's hard to know what specific event if any, uh, you know, precipitated the closing, it is known that authorities have been making it more and more difficult for civil society organizations to survive, directly pressuring and harassing them. And, and, and uh, besides shrinking space for civil society uh, in general, uh, I think there's evidence uh, showing that authorities have become more hostile uh, to the LGBT movement because they view it as a foreign influence that misleads youth, he added. Uh, the, the center provided a range of activities including mental health counseling and campaigns and HIV testing. It also served as an advocacy organization conducted nationwide surveys on LGBTQ issues for public and played an important role in defending legal rights including leading a lawsuit against a practitioner of electroshock conversion. It just feels so utterly hopeless. I know that queers and feminists in China, I know how to work a loophole, a cat door, a hairline fracture, a whisper, a metaphor. But soon, that's too subtle and quiet to reach the people who need it. A secret handshake can't replace a lighthouse. Uh, the former volunteer uh, said, he felt sadness on hearing the news of the center's demise. He said it was a, a beacon of sorts for gay people in China, uh, especially in Beijing, um, adding that he and other members of the community uh, now uh, don't know where to turn to. We've lost a home. Uh, he added uh, Shanghai-born journalist Jinghua uh, Qian, 
who is based in Australia and writes frequently on LGBT issues, uh, said in a Twitter post that uh, while the community in China is resourceful and could find a way to work around uh, limitations, sometimes that approach is just too subtle. A secret handshake can't replace a lighthouse, she wrote. 